All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Fight here. We're back for some more of the Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. And if you did miss out during the last one, well, we are doing some other social linking and other side stuff before we go and meet up with Kanji because uh, he's still under the weather, I guess, unfortunately, for right now until we go and speak on over to him on uh, June 6th, I want to say so. Uh, that is when we should at least be able to now finally get him as a part of a member of our team. And that is going to happen throughout the game. Now, uh, before that is going to happen, well, since it is June 4th, uh, I want to say that we can't actually go and do something as a side bonus thing and that is of course going back to Yukiho's castle and tackling out with a bonus boss by the name of the Contarian King I believe. Uh, now this guy can be a little bit frustrating but since we are doing this in the easy mode type of way he should be uh, hopefully not as crazy as he is uh, within the other different modes. Uh, but this guy does have a very annoying move known as Rampage which I believe he attacks all of your party members within the actual said battle. So just be very very cautious for when that does happen and also as well you want to make sure that you do at least have enough HP that you can at least somewhat withstand throughout the attacks here. Um, now this guy does like to go and set a uh, thing known as red wall which I believe that's like somewhat of like a defensive mechanism for him uh, which that's going to be taking a little bit of some time for him to go and lower down as you guys can go see right now our attacks are not really doing a whole heck of a lot at all which uh that's not all that too great because this guy is somewhat pretty ruthless uh with his defensive wise so we're gonna have to kind of uh make sure that we uh edit some stuff out here for a little bit but after some time we finally made sure that he is down and out here so there we go and just like that from the help of yusuke everybody has now got the exp that we do need from this battle here and not only that but we do have a boost of our courage as well and that's basically about it uh that is just uh the one little side thing that you can go and do here after once you're all uh said and done uh within the uh well within everything here the yuki's castle and also as well uh complete off with the kanji as well too because i believe that is how this area will open back up again i think from there uh for this boss battle to happen but either way we're already said and done and uh within these two videos for our time uh not only are we just gonna be doing out here with persona 4 but we are doing some more of twilight princess hd i know it seems a little bit weird for the cat well for what's going on for like the past couple of days so far is that uh there has been no yokai watch now the reason why that we have no yokai watch is because we already went and said and done with that actual series there is nothing else for us to go with you at this point in time so there's just only three or four more other series that we still have to go into with uh, throughout this YouTube channel. Because I want to say that currently right now we have Paper Mario. We do have Twilight Princess to go through. We do have Final Fantasy. And of course we do have Persona 4. So yeah, we do actually have uh, four other series still remaining for a time for right now. And hopefully we can try to complete off with all four of those series. And then we can go and move off into some other bigger things within the channel that I do want to make sure that we go ahead and do. So uh, it looks like we're going to have to go and check around with the TV once again and see if there's anything that is happening right here. So no one is appearing right now. And uh, since we already went and uh, taken care of Kanji, everything has been uh, safe and sound for the time being. But there is going to be something strange that's going to happen later on, uh, maybe throughout the uh, other type of weeks or maybe even uh, the next month that may probably be showing up. So we'll have to see what is going on from here. So uh, let's just go and jump right on into June 5th here and uh, let's go and see what that is going to be all about. Now, since today is going to be with Sunday, uh, you guys may probably know that the commodities shopping channel is going to be back up again. And we're going to have to go and uh, do our option of what we're going to have to go and buy throughout this said shopping channel once more. Um, now for this one here, uh, I believe you can actually get a brand new outfit for one of your main characters or you can actually go and purchase out on some special different fish that you could go and do. Now for us, uh, we're going to go and buy a whole bunch of different fish because I know that there's going to be certain other quests and other things later on uh, throughout our time within the game that we may possibly want to have to go and use those fish. Uh, to go and help out with some other said people to go and complete off with those said quests. So uh, we'll probably go and find another one of these type of outfits uh, later on uh, throughout like a dungeon or something. Or maybe we'll pick it up uh, while we are uh, in the uh, item or equipment shop that we're going to have to go and do later. So hopefully that will still be there. But there we go. We went and bought out all the fish things that we do need. So very nice. 
Now, if you guys remember, there was a certain quest that we have to go and feed a certain cat that is going to be happening around within the Inuba area. Uh, so we're going to have to go and see what that's going to happen. Now, during our time here on Sunday is that the veggie lady is going to be here. So there is going to be some new type of things to go and pick up. We do have some wheat seedlings and not only that, but we also do have some of these cabbage seedlings as well. Now, I think there is somebody for a quest that does need some sort of cabbage seedlings, but uh, I think we'll have to worry about that at some point. Uh, because we do have i don't think it's the actual seedling part but it's like the actual cabbage itself but we have to go and do some harvesting of that later at some point but for right now we're back over here at the sabagawa flood plains uh this is where we'll be able to go and interact for another one of these quests here this is for someone that has lost an old key and we'll have to go and figure out where uh this old key is going to have to be at some point but either way we'll accept this quest and we'll get this one all out of the way as well too in the process here now, I want to say that if you just keep on heading all the way down to the left-hand side, uh, you should at least be able to go and see that there should be a tabby cat or something around over here that you should be able to go and check around at some point. Now, here on June 4th, there should at least be like a dog as well, too, that will growl at you and then run away. But for some reason, I have never seen that dog yet. So I don't know if I missed something like throughout the other type of past other uh, maybe like quest missions or something, but... Right now, we're just going to go and give the red goldfish on over here to this said, uh, said cat. And there we go. And we're all said and done for there. Now, if you guys remember that uh, that bug kid with like the bug catching net that we normally like sometimes like go and do like trading and with, with that guy. Well, it seems like later on uh, with this said bug is that with the bug kid is that he's going to lose his bug catching net. And we're going to have to go and try to find it and figure out where that is. Now, I think during the time of how this is going to happen is, is that once we go and do find this kid's bug catching net, we can actually keep it to ourselves. And I believe we can actually go and find bugs uh, from us without having to do any type of trading at any point in time. So that will be pretty nice to go and do. But here's another one of these quests here if you do want to go and accept it. So we're going to have to go and try to find this guy some coal. Don't know exactly where we could go find coal unless we're going to have to do that in a dungeon somewhere. But yeah, so here's the bug catching kid. He's going to say that he lost his net and uh, we're just going to have to go and try to figure out where that is. Uh, so we'll have to come back at the nighttime to go and figure where that is because there's a lady here at the nighttime, just like uh, how we did it before. Like the lady with all the gems that you could go with, I think, like uh, go and give to her and stuff. So we'll have to go and see what she has to go and say. But we got ourselves with this other questing here. So this is the one with all the cabbage that we're going to have to go and worry about. Now, uh, this video, uh, I want to say, was originally going to be somewhat of a longer episode. Uh, but, but what I decided to do is, is that I actually uh, split the two videos into two different parts. So you guys will be able to see this episode from here. And then you'll be able to go and check on with the continuation of yep. this said uh, type of video that is happening from here in another episode uh, later on because there's a whole bunch of stuff that's going on with kanji and I think like with the way of how this video would have been it would have at least taken almost about like 50 minutes so didn't really want to have to go and deal with something like that so uh, that's all that I wanted to go and do so let's go and hang out with Yusuke for a little bit because that's what we came around, came around to go and do out here. Uh, I want to say that uh, all the other different party members uh, that are also just going to be chilling around in other different places, you could go and hang out with them as well. But for us at this moment in time, I think uh, just hanging out with Yusuke and just trying to build up our uh, ranking here should at least be somewhat fine too. So it looks like uh, Yusuke is going to have to talk to uh, some of these other, uh, other, uh, I guess, other students that were from the school as well. Hmm, that was interesting. Oh, what the heck? Seems like everybody has like some sort of like complaint or something that they have to go and give on over here to use gay for. Sorry. <sighs> now I'm not really too entirely certain on what these type of different text dialogues that we need to do out here for this one because this one I was kind of uh, was just kind of like just guessing for stuff and it seemed like use gay was like. Uh, getting a little bit agitated in a way of how I was like kind of just going to say all that type of stuff.
Yeah, and I think there should be another text dialogue here, which I get, I don't really know per se of exactly which type of one would be great for this type of dialogue here, but either way, we're just gonna just, uh, just click on one and just continue onwards with it. Now, I don't know in, in this episode, you guys will be able to see a Dachi's social link, but we will be doing that as well too here as well. But either way, it doesn't matter. I, I don't think like whatever type of dialogue that you go and choose, you'll still get the rank, even with the, within going and talking out over to uh, Yusuke though. Thanks. All right, and there we go. And just like that, another rank has been increased for us. So very nice right there. Now I found out a way that apparently uh, within my other mic uh, that I could go and do uh, within like my Shure MV7 that I normally go and use for like live streaming and other things. Um, I just went and uh, did some filtering on OBS while trying to uh, hopefully try to boost up the mic. So hopefully by the time that we do the new live stream for Monster Hunter Story 1, uh, you guys should hopefully at least be able to hear a nice, much better type of crisper sound that comes from my mic now uh, within using OBS from there. So now we're over here at the night time. So this is where we're going to have to go and talk to that lady in the shrine that's over here. And uh, now I know that we had a red goldfish before, but we already kind of went and used that up already for our time of that said cat. So unfortunately, we can't really go and do that now. Uh, but we'll have to go and talk to her still about this whole buck catching net. So either way, let's go and uh, make sure that we uh, take care of that. And here's a dachi here, so it looks like we're so we are gonna have to go and do the social link. So that would be nice. All right, so now it's just go with time to just chill around a little bit with the dachi, and uh, I do actually know the text dialogue here for this one though. It's just that the one with Yusuke, I just didn't really realize ex exactly which type of one that we were gonna be dealing with though. <laughs> There's that same old woman. It seems like this old woman always likes to go and show up every time that a dachi's around. <laughs> Last time that we met up with the dachi, he was over at the Judas department and the same old lady was over there. And then now she just went and showed up again right around over here in the shopping district area. So, uh, yeah, so the first one is like, uh, why did you come over for real? And that's like the one of the main text dialogues that we need to go for with. And then also click on the I'm a good cook. That's also the other one as well. And I think there's actually one more text dialogue, I think, as well, too, before we go and end off with everything. And then uh, what did you do instead? I think that's what we need to click on as well. Get to know a little bit more about Adachi. But I think with that being said in mind, it looks like we are getting ourselves closer to the end of this episode. So with all that being said in mind, I'll just go off and uh, do my outro here. And uh, thank you guys so much for checking out here with Persona 4 Golden. Uh, in the next episode, we'll continue onwards with the continuation from this said episode that I was originally recording out from before. And uh, we'll be seeing what is happening with the Kanji side of things. So see you guys in when that actually does happen. And of course, peace. Yeah.